Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 20 of a Platinum End, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me and join me in this adventure. Okay, in the previous episode we saw that Suzumu died? I mean, uh, he was attacked by those spies. Let's see what's going to happen now. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. Oh! So at this point, maybe the Prime Minister put those people over there. Oh! No, the last candidate taking him away. Why? Doesn't he want to just save him or not? Where is he taking him? Oh no! Oh! Suzumo! Oh, what the F? That was fast. See? You talk about death so easily, I guess. I think it, that's... Yeah, that's the last candidate. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> huh? Why? Yeah. Hey, here we go. Oh, the red arrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if he asked you to do the same things uh, as Mira, I think you would have agreed with the professor. <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime... <laughs> Maybe it's the Prime Minister, <laughs> or not. Uh? Maybe it's the policeman. He doesn't want to retire, it's just that he's fading away. Mm. So it was the Prime Minister to do something like this. Yeah, but Mirai, I don't think that this time the dialogue will work. Hmm. Okay, maybe you can try, but mm, there's not the evidence that you can make it. Eh? Oh. 
Ja. Hä? He seemed a nice person, I mean a kind one. Yeah. Okay, he is going to win it because it's pretty fun. What? Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> He felt under pressure. See, when you become popular, life is consuming you. I mean, uh, people are surrounding you are consuming you. She appeared.
Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Yeah, I agree with this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think she. Uh, <laughs> oh uh-huh Oh, she will not say anything, I guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh uh. four oh nasa Yeah. Why she has that power? What the f? Exactly. Uh huh. Oh, okay. She doesn't know anything about that. Oh. Eh, nice question, Sasaki. Yeah, yeah, welcome to reality. Oh no, again a stadium. Uh. Yes, they will show up, uh, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh! Okay guys, another episode finished. I feel so sorry for Suzumo because uh, actually he died like that. <laughs> I didn't expect something like this, uh, sincerely. But then uh, everything that this uh, Professor Yoneda is uh, saying, wow, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, even when he's saying that God was invented by human beings or that hell and heaven were invented by human beings in order to believe to God. It depends how you see things, uh, actually. But there are some people who agree with this and they just believe that people needed to create something in their mind in order to go ahead with their lives, in order to think that heaven was a great goal to reach. So there is always a, a, a way to 
hope uh, that after our lives uh, there is uh, something waiting for us. This makes us uh, feel uh, more relieved uh, than thinking that there is nothing. Uh, in fact, uh, even uh, this other boy that is connected to Yoreda right now was uh, saying something like this. He was uh, saying that he's uh, scared for the fact that there's nothing after death. And yeah, many people are scared too. I mean, we definitely don't know what's after death and it all depends on what we believe, if we believe in God or if we don't believe in God. Until we will not die, we can never know. And even if other people are dead before us, they can't come back and tell us. Some people believe that they can receive some signs from dead people telling them some things, some other things, some other people believe that if you go to a medium you can talk to your previous ancestors or previous members of your family in order to let you understand that there is an afterlife and all this stuff. I mean, it depends how you believe. Uh, about the afterlife, uh, if you believe that there is an afterlife. Uh, personally speaking, I don't know what to believe sincerely, but I prefer to go ahead doubting. Um, I prefer going ahead by asking myself, as I was telling you in the previous episode, because nobody can have uh, the truth uh, in his or her hands. Uh, in this case, uh, it's just a huge question mark, and the only thing we can do is just to guess. If there is uh, definitely something after our life, maybe it will not be heaven, it will not be hell, but it's just uh, this energy that goes back to the origin of everything. Many people can call it heaven, other people can just call it uh, energy that can keep staying around us because we are attracted by this energy somehow, as much as we were attracted by our family members, we were loving them, etc, etc. So this attraction of energy is based also on the feelings we feel, that these feelings are made of energy too. As you can see, there are lots of options, but definitely some other people don't believe in heaven and hell. Some people are just thinking that we're just becoming ashes and our soul is still permanent in this world, maybe in another dimension, and uh, this dimension can't be seen by human eyes, so that's why we can't see this energy as a form of a body structure or as a soul that we can definitely see it. And in fact, uh, some people think uh, that these people who have uh, uh, some immense power to see these uh, energy that most of the times it's called a ghost, but it's just a, a, a residual spiritual energy floating all around us. <laughs> this is pretty interesting because as you can see, many people can have different opinions about this. And we are sure in this case that there is not an absolute truth. And this is better because nobody can pretend to know the truth until we will see it with our own eyes, if we will be able to see it or to feel it anyway. Uh, some other people believe in reincarnation, that this energy is going out from our body, that our body is immortal, while this energy can keep going ahead and reincarnate into another body. So, see, we can't uh, absolutely pick one of these options. If we do that, it's just because we want to give a purpose of our life in order to go ahead living, in order to be sure, as if we are creating a comfort zone in which we can go back over there every time we feel hopeless. And that's why people pray to God, because they believe that by doing so, they can redeem themselves from the crimes or from the mistakes they are making. What's sure is that we are living here. What's coming after, we still don't know and we will never know until we experience it. But it was pretty interesting what this episode was telling you because it keeps you want to guess or to think more about our existence. Hey, everything is revealed. Nasse is the key of everything. She doesn't know this. I mean, she doesn't know about this huge power she has, but she can be the key. Of everything. So let's see what's going to happen because sincerely I don't like Nasse so much, you all know that. I mean she has this uh, 
evil attitude somehow and this can turn into a weapon i mean nasa can turn into something really bad it all depends what Mirai decides to do, but actually, even if Mirai decides to stop her, Nasa can be really powerful that she can stop him. So this is even worse at this point. I really don't know what Yoneda wants to do right now, because he wants to unify all these god candidates. And I think that or he's spilling out the tea about everything, about Nasa, about how powerful she is, because she has this special power, or Mm, he is going to find a way to trick uh, Mirai and maybe they are going to attack uh, Nasse for this. I don't know, but, but sincerely, this other angel who was uh, supposed to be the angel of this boy who was following Yoneda, sorry, I don't remember his name. This angel is saying that she prefers that Mirai is going to become a god and we still have to understand why she wants something like this I mean the real purpose is just this or is there something else that she's hiding and we still don't know this could be really really interesting but wow this episode made us understand that Nasa can move objects and people as much as she wants she can control everything the only problem here is that she doesn't even know that is it a, a miracle or is it a curse uh, we still have to guess that Yoneda is a pretty interesting character to be honest uh, even when uh, this uh, police officer was uh, telling us this background story which uh, he was meeting him throughout the mm, high school period. The soul of this character is out of this world, that he doesn't belong to this world, he doesn't even want to be part of this world, because he feels as if he is belonging somewhere else, as if uh, this world is uh, consuming him, while he, on the other side, on the contrary, he wants to help humanity to get in touch with these truths, are these truths real truths or it's just based on theories? Theories are not confirmations. So, wow, everything is so interesting from this point of view. And I can't wait to see what's happening in episode 21 of Platinum End next week. Thank you guys for the support and keep subscribing to the channel if you want. Click on the notification bell. Bye guys, see you in the next video.